Hey guys, welcome back to another video of creating process. Today we'll be creating spirographs pattern design using Illustrator and Photoshop. We'll be using a few basic shapes as our base and create out the complex paragraph design. We'll also look at how to create a gradient color palette to apply to our design. So let's begin the tutorial. We'll start out with the ellipse tool, select the ellipse tool and create out our oval. Give it a fill color. Now using the rotate tool, set the anchor point to the center. And with the alt press, just click and drag to create a duplicate. We'll be giving 20 degree angle between each oval. Use command E or control D to duplicate. We'll be duplicating around 9 oval to cover up the whole circle with 18 division. After that, fill up the individual oval with the color from the color palette. Reduce the opacity from the transparent panel. Then selecting everything, divide them using the divide option from the pathfinder. Delete out all the inner pieces, leaving only 3 rings of design. Increase the opacity to 100%. Now, select individual pieces, fill up the color in a proper order. Select a piece from the second ring and with the eye picker, choose a color from the first ring leaving one section. Do this for the whole circle. In the same way, follow the same step for the third ring. Select the outer ring and group them. Now select all the pieces except the outer ring and apply drop shadow. Arrange the outer ring to the back. To remove the inner shadow, duplicate the whole design and create a new shape using the Unite option. Using the Clipping Mask option, mask the design using this shape. This will hide out all the inner shadow, giving a clean design. We'll do some adjustment with the shadow. Uh, put the blur value around 2 points and the opacity around 50 points. And here is our final look. For the second design, create a circle using ellipse tool. Duplicate it and separate out the intersection using the intersect option in Pathfinder. Use the rotate tool to set the anchor point at one corner and with the all press just rotate it to 10 degree angle. This will create a duplicate of the shape. With the command D or control D, duplicate the shapes till it fill up the whole circle. We'll be creating our total 36 shapes to complete one circle. Select the whole design and set the color mode to multiply and the opacity to 20%. Now let's create a color gradient panel to apply to our design. So we'll be creating 36 color shades to fill up the individual pieces. Uh, create two square, give two different color. Select both and using the blend tool set the spacing 5 and this will create 5 color shades between the two shapes. Now duplicate this for 5 more times. Now using the die selection tool select the square boxes then fill up with the preferred color. Now selecting the individual shapes from the design, pick up the color from the color palette using the eyedropper. Do this for all the shapes. After that, change the color mode to multiply and the opacity around 40%. You can do the color adjustments in Photoshop using the hue and saturation adjustment layer. This is the second final output. We will also cover geometric spectrum design in our Spirograph package, where we will be using blending option to create our cool design from a basic triangular shape, doing adjustments with the curve and enhancing your design in Photoshop. We'll also work on under design, creating using ellipse tool, rotating it to certain angle and applying a nice color shades. And in Photoshop, we'll be adding some glow and depth. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Don't forget to check out the next tutorial coming up. And if you want more updates on designing, don't forget to like, share and subscribe this channel. Thank you.